everyone today we are making a nasa rover out of cardboard you can find the instructions for this on our website so here we go here's Okay, so step one, we're gonna fold the rover body. You're gonna take your six by six piece of cardboard and you're gonna fold it into three sections. Just like this. Step two, we're gonna put the back wheels and the axle together. You're gonna take your two five by five pieces of cardboard and you're going to need your pencil and your ruler for this. And you're going to lay your ruler from one corner to the other diagonally across. You want it pretty exact. You're going to draw a line and you're going to do the same thing on the opposite corners. And the same thing on the second five by five piece of cardboard. Pretty exact, okay. Yeah. See, so you will have those two lines that'll make a perfect point in the middle. And you're gonna take your pencil and you're gonna drive it right through the middle like that. So your cardboard is stuck to the end of your pencil. You're gonna do that on both of them. And this should act like an axle on your car. Both of those square pieces will be our wheels. All right, step three. We're gonna make the front axle. So we're gonna need the two uh, life savers. You're gonna need the straw. We're gonna need to unwrap the straw. So, just a second. Okay. And then we're gonna need the tape as well for this. We're gonna flip over your cardboard row for body. And what am I doing? Let's get organized. Okay. So, we're gonna put the piece of candy on one side, but it's not really going in that well. The straw is a little bit big, so you know what can we do? Let's use our engineering brain and try to shove it in, but it's not really going. You know we have our scissors at our disposal, so let's try and think of something that get a little bit smaller. The straw is to a point end, so they're slightly smaller, maybe easier to get on. And we're closer to getting the candy on here. Not quite. Just cut a little tiny slit in there. And then we can kind of fold it on itself. And the candy will fit on. Your straw may or may not need to, you may not need to do this. Your, your straw may be small enough. All right, so we got one on there. As you can see, we're gonna do the same thing to the other side for the second piece of candy. All right, cool. Got them both on, just like that. A couple of wheels on an axle. All right, so let's uh, tape it to the body, just with a couple pieces of tape. Be good to go. So step four. I'm gonna attach the back, the back axle to the rover. So you take that back, one back wheel off of the sharp side of the pencil. You're gonna do the same thing that you did to the wheels to the rover body. You're just gonna stab the uh, pencil through the rover body on both sides. Go 
careful not to hurt yourself. All right, so you got it all lined up. You put your other wheel on. Cool. But uh, this body's looking a little junky, so we are going to kind of move the wheels around. And we're going to get some tape on there to keep the body kind of closed so it doesn't interfere with the movement of the wheels. Next, step five, we're going to create the power source. We're going to do a little rubber band chain by creating a little knot in between the two. And then you're going to attach the rubber band to the back axle by wrapping it around, doing another little knot, kind of like how you attach the two rubber bands to each other. So now that it's on there, we're going to go into step seven, but it's really step six. I just lost count. <laughs> uh, and we're going to take our scissors and we're going to cut two little notches out of the front. And the goal is to anchor the power source to the front of the rover. So it'll create tension. So when you uh, roll the wheels back, the rubber band will have tension on it. And when you let it go, the wheels will spin and cause your rover to move. As you can see there, two little cuts into the cardboard is all you need. Let's try to attach it. If we can. <laughs> All right, it's a little bit tricky. Still working on it. Almost there. I suggest maybe uh, using some thinner rubber bands if you can have, uh, if you have them. All right, so we got that attached, and you can see that the front rubber band is running through those two um, little notches that you cut out. So step eight, which is really again step seven, is we're going to do a test run. So we're going to grab the little notch on the side of the pencil axle and you're going to twist it backwards, creating tension with your rubber band. Your rubber band is going to get really tight. And you feel like you have enough tension, you can uh, put it back down on your surface and give it a go and see if it moves. And blast off. Nothing. A little bit of something, but not what we want. So what went wrong here? The wheels are not uh, really helping us in the back, so I think that we'll take the wheels back off. And we'll use the scissors to make them round. And that might help us get the rover moving. What you can do is cut one of them into a circle and then you can grab the other piece and use your first wheel as a template to help cut out your second one so that both of them are the same size. We got our wheels back on. They're looking good. Okay. Looking more like a traditional wheel now. So let's wind it up again. Creating that tension in the rubber band, which is our power source. And let's 
Let's give it another test go. All right, it moved. Sweet, we got it. 